this video, we present our technique for microsurgical spermatic cord denervation with and without sparing of the vas. Chronic orchalgia has a prevalence of approximately 1%. The indications for microsurgical cord denervation include chronic orchalgia lasting greater than three months when the patient does not have any reversible causes of his orchalgia and when the patient is not responsive or is intolerant to medical management. The patient is placed in the supine position and the groin is prepped and draped in the standard sterile fashion. A subinguinal incision is made as shown in this image. The spermatic cord is identified and elevated with an army navy retractor. The adipose tissue deep and medial to the cord is divided. Special attention is paid during this procedure to divide the trifecta nerve complex including the perivasal complex, posterior, periarterial, and lipomatous complex, and the intracremasteric complex, as described by Parakettle et al. After the operating microscope is brought into the field, the cremasteric fibers were sequestered. The vas is identified and perivasal structures are separated from the spermatic cord. Doppler is used to identify the testicular artery and vasal artery if present. In this patient, no vasal artery was found on Doppler. The perivasal tissue is then dissected and divided with bipolar electric artery. is then divided sharply. Confirmation of testicular artery preservation is performed. 3O vicral ties are used on the cremasteric fibers and the cremasteric fibers are divided. Fibers are also divided in a similar fashion on the contralateral side. The proximal ties are left long for easier control of the cord structures. A tongue depressor and Penrose drain replace the Army Navy. An amniotic tissue membrane is then placed around the cord structures with the correct orientation. Chromic suture is used to anchor the amniotic tissue membrane to the cremasteric fibers.
amniotic tissue membrane is then measured and cut to size. Sixoproline is then used to suture the amniotic tissue membrane to itself. After irrigation, the cord is replaced into the wound and the wound is closed in the standard fashion. Here we present a different case in which vasosparing is performed. The vas in this case is completely stripped of its perivasal tissue for a length of approximately 2 centimeters. Patients are seen in the clinic one month following the surgical procedure for wound evaluation. Generally, patients notice pain relief immediately following the procedure. In our series between 2014 and 2015, 24 men underwent microsurgical cord denervation for chronic orchalgia. At one year follow-up, 18 patients had complete resolution of their pain, and two patients had partial relief of their pain for a response rate of 75%. In conclusion, MDSC is an appropriate treatment for chronic orchalgia in the appropriately selected patient.